In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can fix it when you get the error where Gmail can't load new emails or messages. So the first thing and the most common thing is, as you know, on Gmail, if you have a standard Gmail account, then you get five gigabytes of storage. Now, I don't know if I can scroll to the bottom. So you have five gigabytes of storage. And if you go ahead and use the service called Google One, then you can buy more storage for a monthly fee. So the first thing you want to check is, have you run out of storage? So to do that, you can go out of the Gmail app, then you can go to any web browser on your phone. In my case, I'm on Google Chrome, but it can be Safari if you're on an iPhone. Just search up Google One, Google One, hit search. And Google One is the iCloud storage for Gmail accounts and things like that for Google Drive. So we'll just go ahead and tap on Google One, the first result. And then you want to make sure that you're logged into the correct account. I know I'm logged into the correct account because I can see my profile picture at the top right. Then just tap on open Google One. That's going to go ahead and load up the new page where you can see all the information about your Google One account. So once you're on this page, what you can do is you can scroll down to where it says storage. And then as you can see, I've used 75 gigabytes of my 100 gigabytes because I pay for a standard 100 gigabytes monthly package. And then you can scroll down even further or you go to, or you can tap on it and then it'll show you the breakdown of where your storage is going. So you can see for me, Gmail is only using three gigabytes. So I have enough storage on my Gmail account. The rest is with Google Drive and Google Photos. I have nothing. So for me, I have enough storage within my Google One account to receive emails. But if yours is full, then what you can do is you can try and delete something in your Google Drive to free up space. You can delete photos, you can delete videos, files, whatever you have in your Google Drive. Empty out your email inbox and that could rectify the problem and give you some more space to receive new emails. And then the next thing you can try and do is to just check your internet connection. Make sure you're on a strong enough Wi-Fi signal. So if I scroll down from the top of my screen, I get to this menu and you can see my Wi-Fi is on. Sometimes if you don't have a strong Wi-Fi connection, it can cause an issue. So maybe you can try switch off Wi-Fi and just use mobile data. Things tend to run a little bit quicker and better on mobile data. Then the last thing that you can try and do is to clear the data of the Gmail app. Now I'll explain how to do it on an iPhone and an Android device. So for me, I'm on an Android. I tap on settings. And then I want to scroll down. I'll be on this page when I tap on settings. Then I want to scroll down to where it says apps and tap on apps. And then you can see it says apps at the top. Now for an iPhone, what you want to tap on is settings and then general. And then what you want to tap on after that is iPhone storage. And then you want to locate the Gmail app. And then you want to go ahead and offload the app. So for me, I need to go ahead and now search for Gmail. There it is. I tap on it. And then from here, I want to tap on storage. You can see I'm using 244 megabytes of storage. So what I want to do is clear that data and then that can also rectify the problem and then just close out of here and you can even close out the Gmail app. So locate it. I've, yes, Gmail here. Just close out of Gmail like that. And then you can go ahead and go back into Gmail to see if you're getting emails. <laughs> So I hope this video was able to help you out. If it did, drop a comment down below of which one worked for you. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe for more Gmail tutorials. Take care.